Hi, welcome to the Complete Shed Show. And uh, today's uh, video, I'm going to show you a product that was sent to me by the nice people at Extra UK, who are the distributors for Physic shoes. Uh, and the shoe in question is the Physic Arctica GTX, which is billed as their all-weather, all-winter shoe for riding in any conditions. Um, as you can see, done a bit of riding in these. Uh, had them mm, just over a month, um, and initially the weather was really nice. Uh, it wasn't cold, it wasn't wet. Um, so I had to do some extreme testing. Um, and one day when we did have a flash um, storm, this is what happened. As you can see, um, my feet were completely dry, which is really weird because these have got holes in them, they're full of holes. So this has got a Gore-Tex membrane um, and somehow it lets your feet breathe, um, but doesn't let the water in. Now your feet need to breathe because if shoes are really warm, your feet sweat, it introduces moisture into the shoe. Uh, and then if some cold does get in, that's going to really freeze your feet. Now, you may have um, read other reviews I've done of um, shoes and overshoes, and you may know that I suffer from cold feet. So, I was really excited to get these. Um, so, it's a Gore Tex membrane, it's all sealed around here. Uh, and then, in that video where I was riding through the massive puddle, I didn't bother to seal the cleat underneath, but it still didn't leak. Um, so I haven't actually done that. So now it's clogged with mud. It's probably going to be fine anyway. Um, it's got a boa dial system for easily get undoing and getting your foot in, uh, and then a Velcro sta strap uh, secures the top. Now with any waterproof shoe that claims to be fully waterproof, even rubber Wellingtons, the issue is there's a big hole here where your foot goes in. So if water does go in there your feet is going to get wet um, so unless you're wearing waders at some point your feet might get wet so but for splashing standing in puddles um, these are completely waterproof the water is going to run down your leg but we're going to straight into the uh, shoe now the other thing is because these are completely waterproof once the water's in there it's not coming out unless you empty it um, this did happen in another storm but my feet stayed warm which is the main part so it's sort of that um, neoprene diving suit type and so it's trapped a, a layer of warm air and water in there so my feet were fine um, sole wise quite grippy exactly the same as the Terra shoe which I've got a pair of and they are really comfortable um, quite grippy but not overly so so sort of midway between a mount, full of mountain bike shoe uh, and a road shoe quite stiff um, but you can walk in them they're not super carbon sole stiff but they're not flexible at all you can't feel the cleat through your foot when you're all riding they stay on really secure um, this collar also stops any stones and stuff going inside your shoe um, the cleat pocket has a big range of adjustment um, I've found a lot of shoes 
didn't let me put the cleat back far enough as I wanted and I felt like I was pedaling on front of my toes. These have a lot of adjustment so I would say if you are going to use them throughout the winter and you want to wear a thicker sock go a half size up. These fit perfectly in my normal size with a normal sock in. If I wear a thermal sock or a waterproof sock, um, double protection, they do feel a bit, little bit on the tight side. So go size up, but you'll still have plenty of adjustment um, to move that cleat and get your comfortable position. So after just after a month's use, um, they're not showing a lot of wear really. Um, I've just basically wiped them clean. I've left them like this to show you that I have used them. Um, this colour is not going to suit everyone. They do do them in black as well. And interestingly, they do a road version, obviously without the grip on the bottom, in white, which is a bit odd for a winter shoe. But there you go. So on the inside, um, they've got like a, a fleece lining. You won't be able to see it on this camera. Uh, fleece lining, um, which does get your feet warm. I, as I said, do suffer from cold feet. And so far, so good. Um, but it's only been down to three or four degrees here so not really tested it in anything icy that remains to be seen um, but if you don't suffer from cold feet and you want some waterproof shoes um, I totally recommend these so check out the full review on ukgravelco.com uh, and check out the Physic Arctica Terra GTX it's a long description or a long name for a shoe that may just save your winter riding.